Hi, this is Hector, and today we're going to talk about fuzzy lines in Procreate. You know, that's when your outline is a little soft. You usually find out at the end of your drawings. So why does this happen? Well, because of pixels. And what's a pixel? Well, let me show you in this line work. Let me just go ahead and just make this larger. That's pretty good right there. So each one of these squares, that's a pixel. But also, a pixel is a container for a hue, saturation, and brightness. But since we have line work, what we're seeing is the darkest of the dark to the lights of the light. Seven columns this way. So what this is telling us is that this looks like it's a little fuzzy, right? Well, it'll make a whole lot more sense if I just make a new line somewhere around here. Notice how much sharper that is? It's kind of crisp, right? This one is a little fuzzy. Well, when you go like this, you can't really tell. But once you want to print it out or look at it at 100%, you're going to start seeing the softness. Sometimes it makes all the difference in the world and we have to start over. And other times, it's okay. But the worst part of this whole thing is you usually find out at the end. So how do we get around that? So one thing that we can do is we can be conscientious of the order of how we do things. For example, if we want to do a transformation or liquefy, one of those things that starts distorting our pixels, we can do it in the beginning of things, like when we're sketching. Here we can go to the transformation tool, right there, and go to warp. I like using advanced mesh, so tap there, tap. And start doing your adjustments like that. So now we can go ahead and just start playing with that. We could even go up to liquefy. So let's go to the adjustments icon, tap there, and go to liquefy. There we go. That's a good size. I'll do it again. That's a good size. So we can start playing there and tap out of it. So when we do our line work, it's with those adjustments in mind. And when we finalize our drawing, it's tag sharp. So resizing can definitely make your image fuzzy. But here's the setting you just gotta know. Go to the arrow icon, tap that once, and that opens up your transformation section. Go to uniform, tap there, and go to this icon here, second one to the right. Mine is bilinear. Now here's the thing, you tap here and you go to like nearest neighbor. Now the icon's called nearest or by cubic. Now the icon's called by cubic. So that's why I just say it's a second one to the right, tap there. Now some people have described this as good, better and best. And others have said, you know, just try all three to see which one works. Well, depending on what your circumstances are, uh, nearest neighbor I've seen do far better than a bicubic and there have been times where I've seen a bilinear do so much better than a nearest neighbor. So what some folks have suggested is just make a copy of your illustration and then try all three to see which works. So by the end of the day, do you play with your interpolation settings? All right, now once you've chosen the one you want to use, so I'm going to use bilinear, I'm in uniform, then I go here and I just start dragging the blue dots, which is my handle, and maybe that works for me. Move it over here and just tap on the blue icon, which is the arrow tool, which is the transformation tool. Tap there and you're done. Oh, and by the way, you're limited to a how much you can scale up. Oh, and another place you can resize is up here. Go to the wrench icon, tap there. Under canvas, copy and resize, tap anywhere. Oh, there you go. Now go to settings, tap there. And here it is, resample canvas. Tap there, it's turned on. These are now linked together. Tap anywhere in the blue. And then just go and just key in whatever dimensions you want. Once you're done, tap on done. And that's it. So we resize with two techniques. One is we resize the image, but we kept the original canvas size. And the other, well, we resize both the canvas size and the image. 
It just depends what works best for you. Another thing you want to be mindful of is your DPI. If I go to the, my plus sign to add a new canvas and tap on screen size because Procreate generates this and I go to my wrench icon, tap there once, under canvas, tap on canvas information. Boom, there we go. Now dimensions, tap. DPI is at 132. Now, 132, that's good for like computer use. It, it is, and you know what? You can still resize and all that, all that good stuff. But to get the most out of your resizing and your reshaping, you really want the pixels because Procreate is going to resample those and it's either going to generate pixels or delete pixels. It's so much easier to scale down. That's why I suggest that we go, this number should say 300. Let me go ahead and just cancel that cancel and let's go to one of these and go to wrench icon canvas canvas information dimensions and 300 dpi so if i was to resize this i would probably get a pretty decent resize so what are the best practices more dpi it gives procreate more pixels to work with and when we resize, God, it's so much better if you do it in the beginning of the illustration rather than in the middle or towards the end. But if we had to, we can. It does a pretty decent job. It's just limited to how much you can scale it up. But remember, it's always easier to scale down. And when we reshape, it's perfect for sketching. Or if we want to do just a little nip and tuck. Okay, well, I hope that helps. If you liked it, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for hanging out. Anyway, gotta go.